you were creating a Frankenstein monster and you created the, the heart and you're like, I gotta get this moving. You can't just wish that it starts moving and it's gonna magically start beating. You have to create some kind of electrical energy source because like zapping the heart muscle with a little electrical wire and a battery, your heart only moves when it receives electricity. So there is always a source of electricity that's controlling your heart because it's just a big dumb muscle. The question is always who's in control. We want your normal source of electricity to be in control of your heart. All of us have a normal source of electricity embedded in the roof of our heart. Embedded in the roof of your heart, there's actually, you're born with, a cluster of specialized electrical cells called the sinus node, which is about two centimeters. And these electrical cells, they're the battery for your heart. They're actually what creates electricity. And every time they send a signal into your heart, your heart beats, just like you zapping your heart with an electrical wire. And when your normal rhythm source is in control of your heart, your brain's in control of that. You're born with these normal cells. Your brain actually has nerve connections from your brain to these normal cells. It talks to them and it tells them, speed up if you're exercising, slow down if you're sleeping. Speed up if you're in pain or stress, slow down if you're at rest. So this is why your heart rate varies depending on what you're doing. Because your brain tells the little cells what speed to go at based on what you're doing. That's why I want your normal rhythm to be in control.